Hello, I'm Mark Knorr, and welcome to Talking Inspiration, a series for campaign in which I interview leading figures from the creative and marketing industries and ask them what inspires them and why. Today my guest is Sir John Hegarty, founder of one of the most successful advertising agencies of the last 30 years. Hello John. Hello Mark. So let's talk about magic, let's talk about inspiration because I've long been fascinated by the idea of inspiration itself and I'd love to ask you, where do you get your inspiration from? Now, a lot of people say the greatest of all art forms is music, all right, that's very brief. Now, I think that's wrong. I think the greatest of all art form is life. Life is the greatest of all art forms. Therefore, you, as an expression of yourself, is an art form. You are expressing ideas all the time. You get your inspiration everywhere. I get it from walking down the road, seeing a conversation, looking at somebody do something, seeing somebody trip up over a, over a paving stone that was so slightly funny, and the way they responded to that. All of those little things kind of go into you, and it's out of that observation that wonderful things happen. Can you think of examples of of work, of advertising creative work um, that you were responsible for at any point in the last however many years. <laughs> well, um, there are lots. <laughs> uh, that was inspired by something that you tripped over yourself in life. There was um, a wonderful Audi ad that, that we were doing and it was about something on the engineers and, and I was kind of looking and I said, well, okay, the engineers of Audi, it was a very important thing. So. I said to them, well, talk to me about it. And they said, well, the engineers, we could talk about how they follow people around. They follow people to see how they respond to getting in and out of a car. How do you design a car? Mm. By observing uh, real people in real situations. So I had this um, idea that I, and it was stuck in my brain. And I remember seeing two people walk across um, a courtyard when it was pouring with rain. They only had one very small umbrella. And they were joined up to each other as they walk because they wanted to take up minimum space. And it always stuck in my mind. I thought it was a lovely image. And so I created a commercial out of engineers at Audi following people in that way to talk about how they observe people and observe what they do. So you've got to kind of be constantly open, aware, thinking, looking, seeing. If you're not doing that, you're not feeding the soul. The soul then can't bring the stuff back. John, I'd love to know who most inspires you. Well, I always say, actually, I'm, I, I don't look to people for inspiration because I always think you get disappointed by people in some shape or form. I get inspired by ideas, uh, and it's ideas that inspire me because by and large they don't let you down, especially if they're treated correctly. So for me it's ideas that, that uh, uh, I, I spend my time being inspired by. Uh, and speaking of ideas, um, I asked you if you would bring along with you uh, an object of some kind that inspired you. Um, and so I'm wondering what idea you brought with you. Well, I have. I brought something which I think is the most fantastic thing you can ever own. Uh, and it's one of these. And they're utterly brilliant. You don't have to plug it in. Uh, you don't have to make sure it's charged. I haven't seen one for uh, a while. It's just brilliant, isn't it? And, and the great thing is, this is one we do at BBH. I don't know if you can see that. But it starts with, you know, the first idea is sort of okay. Uh, then it's possibly, and then it goes on to good, and then at the end it's great. So the great idea is down here somewhere, so you've got to keep going. Keep working. But I think they're absolutely brilliant, and, and I love the sort of bit of product development, you know, a bit of innovation that put the rubber at the end. That was another great little idea that they developed. But unbelievably simple, isn't it? Do you think it has a future? I think it this has object? an undoubtable future. It's going to go on and on and on. You know, it'll never go out, but they're just wonderful. I love them. John, thank you very much for bringing your pencil with you, appropriately branded, and for sharing your sources of inspiration, which has certainly been inspiring to me. Thank you a, very much. A pleasure, Mark.